Alright everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So in the last one we did a lot of uh, quick loading um, and kind of redoing some stuff. I didn't understand some of the stuff. Two uh, weird people flew out, tried to kill me when I healed. Lily. Um, My sweet girl. And I didn't, so I don't understand why that happened. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe it had something to do with this, but um, that's when you are like down. We have another grand mausoleum. What the hell? Dead dude over there. Ancient mausoleum. Trap. So much for a warm welcome. And we'll be quick saving after these traps because of the bullshit last time. And it's more just because I don't want to get hit. And then have those weird dudes come back when I'm healing. I don't understand what that was. A door. I might stop uh, looking in vases for a little while. <laughs> Yeah, twenty. Three, four, five, six. So we have a, a six extra scroll of telekinesis, ruby, ingots. Let there be light. Grand Mausoleum Offerings Key. Scroll of Revivify. Oh shit, didn't mean to. Didn't really want to take the skull, you know what I mean? Crumbling journal. I was still a supplicant when I came face to face with him, masked in gold, his skin fine and worn as parchment. Jurgle, the death keeper, the end of everything. I asked what he needed of me. He asked a simple question. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? I knew not how to respond and said as such. He seemed nonplussed, neither disappointed nor pleased. I fell to my knees in respect for his awesome power. This garnered no reaction. There I stayed, trembling with an emotion I could not name. And when I stood again, the final scribe was gone. Let's have a look. The Unclaimed. Uh, daily. K 
Case file number 846. Baldur's Gate versus Flynn Silver. Case for prosecution Master Silver did with forethought and without malice. Kill William Lister and Simon Simmy. Triant at their home as part of an ungodly ritual to honor the dead three. Or one of the dead three. The gods Bane, Baal, or Mikrel. Case for the defense. I don't know nothing. Sick about any gods. All I know is Bill and Simi were trying to cut me out of our deal, and they got what they had coming, but those symbols and stuff, and how their guts was arranged, I don't know nothing. Verdict, guilty, sentence, death, commuted to banishment, so as not to anger higher powers. What the hell is that? Salts of Corpse Rose. Not too many things in here, I guess. It's kind of weird the stuff that we can and can't do in here, though. Like, you can go, you can lockpick these mausoleums, go in there and everything, but you can't. I couldn't open an outhouse. Hey, my folks are buried here. Oh. I'd love to pay them a visit. Here lie Pluck and Carlac Cliffgate. My parents. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Uh, sorry I haven't visited. I've been... Uh, away. But I'm back now. And I brought friends. I miss you so much. But I'm happy. And getting up to some really important shit. Maybe you can see for yourselves. <laughs> I don't know. You're with me here. Anyway. Taters. May I ask how your parents died? I was a teenager when Mum passed. Bad fever. A good healer could have saved her. But she slipped away before we found one who'd take our gold. Dad went a few years later. He was on an errand for work, traveling the Risen Road. His cart overturned and caught him just so. I was on my own after that. Fell in with Gortash not long after. If my folks had been alive, they would have sniffed him out straight away. But they weren't. Mum used to say there was no such thing as death. That there was only change. Dad thought that was a load of woo. That gone meant gone, unless you'd struck a deal with one of the gods. Said he had better things to do in life than beg favors off immortals. I'm not sure what I believe. It's the ultimate mystery. There are many possibilities, but we'll never know until we get there. Your mum was right. I agree with your dad. Where there's no need to wonder. Our souls travel to the city of judgment and are taken by the gods. I like the first one. Something to look forward to. Bit morbid, but true all the same. That was Here nice. lies Carlat Cliffgate, beloved wife and mother. Metal pipe. Where they There's somebody the down there. But it's not allowed. Why are you being stupid? Here lies Pluck Cliffgate, 
beloved husband and father. Is this where the person is? Maybe. Alright, there's been traps in all of them so far. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. Patrons of our hero. This compendium lists and pays special tribute to the citizens of Baldur's Gate who commissioned and paid for the mausoleum spot honoring Gorion. Gorion was a hero and sage of exceptional mind and respectable manner, and under a graying exterior, he harbored a heart that bloomed kind and good and evergreen. Oops, didn't mean to take the book. A plea to the gods. My bonus, my bones ache, wounds long scarred, throb as if new. I long for the comfort of my pipe and the warmth of the fire, but I cannot stop. Gods, old and new, hear me. Grant me the strength to keep fighting, the courage to carve out a future for my children, and when I die, the peace that comes with knowing that I did all I could. Scroll. Hmm. They say that... Lighting a candle at the mausoleum of Gorion grants the writer a wish. I never was a superstitious, superst superstitious sort, but description or desperation makes believers of us all. Here's my wish. Please let me survive. I do not wish to be killed by cultists of any kind. I do not wish to be disappeared in the night or to be crushed beneath the steel shoe of an automaton. Everything seems so strange suddenly. Everyone seems so desperate. I'm alone in this world. If I don't look after myself, no one will. Maybe you would be willing to help me. What? Oh, that already ran out. Wow. Oh no, it's right here. Just a regular mall. Then plate armor, which is worth a good bit. We have this hole. Hymns for the nut for the gone. Book of prayers to Kellenvor, judge of the dead. Someone has an, an annotated with it with the following. These are a little saccharine in places. But one or two have genuine merit as something more than religious doggerel. Something that actually evokes the complicated feeling of loss and hope for the departed, their well-being, being, their eternal preservation in some paradise. Not a chance I'll fit in yeah, there. That's what I thought. Of course, perception failed. But I need to be able to get everybody else in here. Feather token. Queen of Ravens. I wonder... 
Where is there it is? <laughs> Easy enough. Really, the hole? Things have stayed interesting. A hero with heart. Assume nothing. I'd love to, thanks. Here lies the Houndmaster of the Durin Bolts, surrounded by his loyal pack, good boys and girls all. What's inside? Go ahead and quick save after doing all that. Brave and loyal Rocky, who saved his master from an ambush. Okay, so it was an animal. And they get a sarcophagus. Oh, shit.
damn it, 45% to get the killing blow. And we'll see after this fight um, if trying to heal ooh, brings uh, those people back. Really a critical miss. Yeah, followed by a critical hit. How do you miss three to four forty five percenters in a row? That makes no sense. Open up. Once I got eight. Of course. Seems simple enough. Fearless Gordis, who would chase any prey and helped bring in our greatest trophies. We don't really need any of this stuff, so. Lionheart Xena, fierce watchdog. At night, no one dared to pass her post. Chief Houndmaster Paul, who trained our pack to perfection. So let's see if we heal. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's causing us to rest. Well, not to rest, but when I heal, I don't know why they're showing up. Um, so we don't need any of that stuff anyway, really. Um, it's all just some extra loot. So no need to do that. Another step forward. A young cave bear killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Let 
Let's see what this does. Chief Houndmaster Paul, who trained our Lionheart to Zena, fierce watchdog, fearless a knight, goddess, no one who dared would chase to any prey and helped loyal bring in Rocky, who trophies. saved his master from an ambush. That comes in through there, there's the mortuary. As we do. You'll not find a casket for your daughter there. Ridiculous. We've already been in there. I just want to bury my little girl in peace. I understand. I will do what I can. Kill him Vor's mercy. Honorable Mortar Mortark Skier. My neighbors, a lovely couple in the prime of their lives, were found dead in their house yesterday. A burglary gone wrong by the looks of it. They leave behind a young girl who and no money for a burial. The odor is already potent, and they'll be thrown in the Shiantar shortly. I'm sure you get many letters like mine, so I'm sorry to add to your burden. But could you see it in your heart to perform rites for this poor couple? The neighborhood has scrapped together some coppers for the cost, but I confess it isn't much. May the Lord of the Dead grant them peace, Bildina Bone Knuckles. Don't want to draw any attention. Can't risk being an open view. Wonder what's past this. I want to know what's coming from that damn pipe. Records of the deceased. A seemingly endless list of names and causes of death are written in a delicate cursive. This details a recent entry. Deceased, Duke Bellum Stelmane, human female. Brown hair, slight build. Cause of death blood loss, 36 stab wounds. Potions of cuts suggest deliberate placement. Right hand removed from body. Post mortem blood sample reactive to crawler mucus. Deceased was paralyzed when murder took place. Burial on hold until flaming fist investigation is complete. Valmorba's Notebook. A collection of a mortician's professional notes on embalming and mummification. The most recent note is as follows. I've purchased a rare find from an adventurer who found it in the Undercity, an ancient funnery jar containing internal organs that have been preserved for, I don't know, centuries at least. Their mummification technique is unknown to me, and many include a combination of mortuary alchemy and necromatic enchantments. I must find the time to study this in detail, as what I learn could be invaluable in enhancing my own embalming techniques. Jar of Mystic Carrion's Lungs. This jar, it feels like death itself, a sure sign of necromancy at work. I bet that will fit in my pack. Flower Preservation Notes Log 47, Sample 32A Added summer lily infused oil to boiling wax. The dipped bouquet neither wilted nor carried the odor of decay. However, scent was uniform and lacked variety. Potential ideas add widow's blossom and whispering bloom to the wax. More pleasant scent, but difficult to maintain solution integrity. The use of a porous solution, a varnish, but visible effects may be more obvious. Prestid digitation. Use spell to imbue the bouquet with original odor, however, effects severely limited by time and possible cost.
Oh, Carrie, and yeah, that dude. Okay. I don't know if this is any use for anything. Why doesn't it work? I don't understand. It's only working for two things. Whatever. I just picked up a bunch of herbs, though, and I wanted to... That's the main reason I did latest. But I guess they all went into a pack. Doesn't look like it, though. Yeah. There we go. I just realized I was pressing all instead of shift. Here goes nothing. Darylin Nickel Nickley. This note is hastily written on a parchment that stinks of rotting flesh and lilacs. Deceased Darylin Nickley, human male, medium build, brown hair, hazel eyes. Hmm. That's, uh, I have brown hair, hazel eyes. I am a, me a human male. Three and thirty years. I'm not thirty-three, though. Cause of death, untreated infection, widow claims the deceased cut himself while chopping wood, reported symptoms of high fever, nausea, and diarrhea. Placement and angle of wound in right upper thigh corroborates this, as does the pustulance. Burial, widow unable to afford a full burial, Olkov refused to make a coffin without payment up front, will oil and bind the body to slow decomposition. Man, that's mean. Just make the damn coffin. Okay, so that's it for here. We have the undead guy's stuff, or at least we have his thing. Um, what in the world with this? This headstone has been vandalized, altered to read Rotting Place of Gothric Rillin. Oh, you can just dig it up. <laughs> I thought I was done for. Lady Luke, bless you. What were you doing down there? Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. Okay. More like Stone Shies. <laughs> Sounds like apt punishment for thievery. Who is a Stone Lord? We'll go with that one. The gang boss has been all up in Nine Fingers territory. He's brutal. Steer clear. Look. I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. Oh, wow. A magical pike. Hmm. Give 
Isn't that the gale? And just a regular rapier. Okay, so at least we found where that was going on with that pipe. Lily. My sweet girl. Shasha. The more talk is here. Do not stem your cries. Didn't we already do this? Yeah, oh, okay. We had to unlock to go back, I guess. Weird. Hmm. Go this way. Which I think, yeah, we'll go down this way and just kind of skip this for right now. Uh, I mean, go in here. Would you kill those rats, please? Their presence vexes me. Okay. Oi, we got rats in cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill the rats? You need to forget killing rats. Someone's out to kill you. You're on a murder target list. Good news, Chef. I already killed the rats. We'll go to the no, first one. I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. Did I murder the rats? God bless you for your kindness. It's the least I can do. All this would have gone to waste. Oh, fine. I do remember murdering rats. Yeah, I already murdered the rats. Okay. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. I need to warn you, Chef. Your name is on a murderer's target list. Rats, murderers, always knew the chef gig wasn't going to be easy. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept peeled for murdering types. Okay, receive money. Some customers know there's a war on. Two ten XP for what? Did I find somebody? I don't understand. Wasn't there a second thing in here? Weird. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. 
If you can find one spare, that is. It's been slim picking since the absolute butchered that supply convoy. But have a look. Mm, he's got some okay money. Let's get rid of uh, all that shit we don't need. I'm wondering if the guild ring we need for something else, so I won't sell it at the moment. If you fall while carrying this token, you take no falling damage. The token's magic is expended after you land, whereupon the disc becomes non-magical. A small faded feather is stamped on one side of this surprisingly light coin. Does it still work? Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Oh, that's too much. Fill your boots, man. Behind that lock, it's being watched close. What? There's nobody in here. Who saw me? Whatever, man. People can see through fucking walls, I guess. It kind of ruins a lot of stuff when you purposely, like, do stuff so that people can't do it and then they just see through walls. Hey, smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You want to play along? Bard. I'm a bard, Willoughby. Prepare to get served. Great! I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians! You know, I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, None. We have dark vision. That is not funny. So I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? Will it be the comedian, folks? Were his jokes good, or did he just smell funny? Say, what's the difference between a dwarf and a boulette? You can't toss the boulette. Hey, I asked my wizard to cast Shatter. He said, Shatter? I hardly know her. We'll do the first one. <laughs> Got me with an ancient jest that's older than I am. Intimidation. What does you call a room full of people who don't applaud? Dead. Really? Let's do it. 
Need a 20. Really? A three and a motherfucking one? Really? Oh, hang on. This should be against the rules. The three, am I right? What losers. You know why Bane worshippers will never conquer the world? They don't have the balls. <laughs> I like that one. A mind flayer's dower slave lost his nose. So I asked the elephant, how does he smell? And it said, I have eaten its brain. What? Oh my god, our cleric tried to cast healing word on a ham, but it was already cured. Really? I like the first one. Or intimidation. Clap or I'll rip out your, your spines. <laughs> like ah, don't joke about religion, smart stuff. I thought it was funny. Cheers, whistles, and applause. You're almost shocked. Yeah, yeah, you're hilarious. Now get out of here before I lose my job. There we go, we got that inspiration back. Manual uh, Hillerite for the uh, True Lyle Unfunny. A thorough index of hilarious topics. Puns, air emitted from the southernmost hole. Coincidence, a funny face. Public house, houses and their va vagaries. Pratt Falls and other fiscal pranks. Funny little creatures. The misfortune of the other stink. That just goes out there. Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. Bella's finished her report. Let them pass. Mother was still alive. Stelling's parlor. A place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Maintain your distance. Area under active investigation. By order of the flaming fist. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. Oh. oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You, name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. Are you Devella? Valeria sent me. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelming's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. Tell her about the murder target list you found, yes. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. 
The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. What makes you think it's, it's not Saravok himself? I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. The brutality of the killings is certainly reminiscent of his work. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. Can you help me? Believe me, I wish I could, but I need this job. What will you do in the meantime? There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? The Flaming Fist should be protecting everyone, not just upper city folk. Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Okay. Notes on Stelmane's murder. Crime scene notes drafted by Devella Fountainhead. Deceased Duke Balin Stelmane, location private room, stairs at Elsong Tavern, cause of death, suspect blood loss. Observations, ritualistic killing, right hand missing, clean severance, likely before death, mark of the absolute on the floor, empty bottle, recently drained of contents, maybe poison. Motive, suspect Ballas ritual, but won't tell Valeria that, suspects. Everybody so far. One more chance with Carlac if she would move. Okay. Curious. Discarded wine bottle. Strange bottle. Even stranger smell. Strong paralytic poison. Okay, so I guess it's just a bottle we can use if we so Best wish. True and Impossible Adventures. Everybody's reading that, I guess. That 
might be worth a look. Oh, Fira. It's you! Look at us! We made it to the city! We made it to the Elf Song Tavern! I'm glad to see you safe. And are you? Never thought I'd live to perform for the greatest audience in the realms. The entirety of Baldur's Gate. Oh dear, am I in trouble? Big trouble. The most trouble you've ever been in. I've decided I'm not going to perform in the Elf Song. Mainly because only the Elf Song itself is allowed to perform. I'm going to open up a school of bards. The best in the realms. To usher in a new age of magic and musicianship. Nice. And it's because of you that I dare to dream big enough. I'm going to send all my students to you, obviously. All right, good to know where I should avoid. What? Um, that's wonderful. I'm proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. I wanted to tell you first because, well, you inspired me to do it. Here. My very first loot. Tuned to perfection. Thought you'd appreciate it when I'm rich and famous. Take care, my friend. Thank you for helping a stumbling bard in a druid's grove find her spark again. Cool. It's really nice, especially since, um... She, she was a really cool character when we, when we found her. Go away, pop-ups! Okay. Yeah, then we can perform something different. Cool. Let's see. Hmm. Oh no, it's just perform. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to know that one's hers? I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. Why can't I get I in here? Any of these rooms are available to rent. So we're pointed over there, and where do we need to go? Down here? Yes. To the right, and then another right. Afternoon. Yeah, we went over there. Gortash clears up. In my opinion, we should have a still watch in every Baldurian home. Why? I'm glad you asked. It would certainly help with the dishes. to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. They're probably ah, poison. Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzli. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. 
wine's no good without company after all. Of course we fail at that. Cora Hyber, your life is in danger. A serial killer is after you. No. I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Medsley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face, and I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Weird. I wonder if this is worth the cost. At least we got lucky and we got the save on those two uh, throws, because I don't know what they were. Alright, he's stunned for two turns, so we don't really have to worry about him. Um... Critical miss. I kind of want to make sure we don't have to heal, so I'm going to take this action surge. to stop him before he strikes again. <laughs> you please keep your eyes on what you're doing. Oh, what's this? Tombstone shop key. Oh! A promising candidate. Interim report: The scared dwarf is a, or scarred dwarf is a promising candidate for unholy assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods of homicide are artistic and even innovative. Innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target, and I, for one, will be observing it closely. Shaller call. I've seen everything. Highbury Townhouse. Preparations prepared. To the Highbury household, 
Stock is exactly where it needs to be. All preparations have been perfectly fashioned just so. Weather's looking lush. The festival's going to be a beautiful day for a bottle, mark my words. Once we're finished, we'll make sure to leave our agreed percentage in a secure location nearby for your distribution to charity. Be an absolute pleasure working been an absolute pleasure working with you both. Best on tour. Gift note. Dearest Cora and Roger, what a pity that I cannot make it to your celebration. I sent my best aged wine to my steed, Stead, that you may celebrate without me. Store it in the basement and it'll age like, well, you know, with greatest regard regrets, hoops. Sweet stained note. A letter scrawled in an unsteady lopsided hand. Lovely home you've got here, Miss Highbury. Lovely husband, lovely orphans in your care. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Perfectly lovely, you take care now. Seems like a good moment to talk. I still can't believe... Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. Hey, get a bit of gold. That's a lot of failed perceptions. And this is taking forever to sink. There we go. Everybody, every single person failed two to three perception checks. Library strong box key. That might be worth a look. Elixir of Universal Resistance. Gain resistance to all damage for ten turns. Holy hell. yourself I spy a trap okay let's 
Merchant's Almanac, the Coast Way. Six and a four. Wow, that's four dice rolls. Six dice rolls, where we fail to get at least a fourteen. This one with the disarm, only a 15, that one was a 20, and it had way more in it. Okay, we can go back to the tombstone place. Let's see what's up here real quick. Why does it still say we can talk to her? I still can't believe. Tear stained letter. A letter penned on official flaming fist parchment, tear stains lightly blot its ink. Dear Cora, I've tried to write this twice now, and I think it's best be plain. Jacek is dead. Drowned hobgoblins tore through our ranks, burnt Joaquin's rest to ashes. Whatever you tell Molly, just make sure she knows her daddy is the bravest man who ever lived. May home watch your hearth and home. First Ephraim. Dusty prayer book. Okay, so nothing really here. Where were the... Where was the tombstone? Place, was it near the graveyard? Probably like over here. Think of Lord Gortash's still watch. I am so glad you are 
Ooh. What's in here? Thank you for dinner. Dearest Tally, thank you again for having us over the other night. I can't tell you how nice it was to just sit around a table, eat good food, and talk again. It feels like the whole world's gone mad, so having a normal meal with friends was such a treat. Especially for the kids. Speaking of, if you ever need to ask us to take Ayo so you and Tim can have some time to yourselves, we'd be more than happy to. I didn't want to pry and risk spoiling the evening, but Tim did seem a little on edge. So let us know and thank you again. Love, Sabine, Freddie, and the kids. X. Tim's notebook. The journal shows sketches and dre of dresses, notes on unusual stitches. Okay, so nothing here. There's a merchant over here. Oh, it's Damon. Holy shit. Father, you're looking well. Would be a lot better if you find a way to fix this engine, Damon. I haven't stopped trying, but all roads lead to a dead end. Sorry, I didn't mean... Never mind. Glad you're all right in any case. Nice forge you've got here. Best I've had in years. Mistress of the house lets me operate from here for a fair price. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy. Good. Someone should be. Can we see your wares? Certainly. Yes. Those smoke powder arrows are pretty darn good. Strength plus two up to twenty three. Intelligence and wisdom is minus one now. I feel like, is this stuff I've given him? All incoming damage is reduced by two. It's heavy armor. You gain resistance and blame more. Yeah. Legendary mobility. You gain freedom of movement and long strider. Gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls with weapons. Can't be paralyzed or restrained. Quite a bit, but hey, we got the money. Is this the one she gave us? It's only worth one. I don't know, it's only a pound, so I guess, I don't know, whatever. Um, and you can have these old sandals.
shit, we almost got half of it back at least. Shout if you need anything else. Okay, so we got Legacy of the Masters, which is medium. And then these, which is also medium. Uh, freedom of Movement and Long Strider. Let's see if that'll work with Lizelle. What does hers do? Gives her flying. When a gift Yankee cast fly, their next melee weapon attack deals an additional... The one to four isn't great. But these are very good. Let's check Carlac real quick. Let's go in. And, because she just got these. Which, the ones she has, targets have disadvantage saving throws. Yeah, these are better. Her boots, the wearer's movement speed is unimpeded by difficult terrain. So she technically has a sort of boots for that. Um, does she have fly? She does. I guess we'll keep those on her. And give Karlek these upgraded boots. Basement key. Alright, time to skulk about. Don't give me trouble now. See a basement. Pleasurable deal, the shocking truth. Blow the transcript of an interview with the writer and director of a pleasurable deal, a blah, 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 pleasurable deal, Mr. Kingsley Harp. Interviewer. Okay, so it's not anything pertaining to their story. Ingots are worth a good bit. We can just sell it right back to uh, Damon. The Devil You Know, an autobiography. We have actually read this. Damon's journal. 
Devils take it, but it's hard to hold a pen properly after pounding with a forge hammer all day. However, I want to get this down while it's on my mind. The issue? For a fair Runian city, Baldur's Gate is practically swimming in infernal arms. Before El Turl was taken, I saw maybe two weapons of infernal iron in three years. Here in the gate, I see that many every ten day. Not that I'm complaining, as a specialist in infernal iron, it's great to have sources of the metal available. I just have to hope this isn't a harbinger of an ancient, of an event like what happened to El Turl. I'm sorry, Damon, that I'm taking everything, but, you know, you're a good guy. A pleasurable deal from a play. Okay, well, the basement was not in here. I do for you. Nice workshop, workshop you have here. I'm shocked by my good fortune, quite honestly. Rent is fair, and the setup is just what I need to start making a living again. Without you, I'd be dead in a ditch twice over. Instead, I have my own smithy in the city. At least, until the Absolute's army mows us down. But hey, Anything could happen in the meantime. Optimism, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. Maybe the basement keys to here. Or maybe I didn't even need to do that. Maybe the key was literally just to that that door. We'll quick save just in case. Unwanted masterwork gauntlets. Attack plus one, saving throws plus one. Unwanted masterwork greaves. Athletics plus one. There's obviously something behind there. On weapon coatings. Approach me, this section of the page has been ruined, poisons, and inflicted additional condition. Okay, so this is basically telling you about um, coating your weapons in uh, poisons and stuff. Which I know about, but I just 
I don't know. I'm never, I never really want to do that because it's like, uh, what if I need it later? Alright, just making sure before we tear it all down. The thing is, nobody does bludgeoning. Don't burn yourself. Although she can just equip a hammer, I guess. The enigmatic art of Hemonacy. Hemonacy? Uh, unveils a proprietary and revolutionary method of blood processing for the precise drawing of the intricate magical symbols used in rituals. Delve into the secrets of this groundbreaking fusion of magic and medicine as it unveils a new area of precision and power in spellcasting. Within the pages of this meticulously crafted tome, you will discover a step by step guide to har harnessing the lace latent magical potential with blood. From the selection of ideal blood specimens to the intricate processing techniques, this book offers detailed instructions and diagrams making the complex art of hemomancy accessible to practitioners of all levels. Monster's Horn. Imitation horns. But barely distinguishable from the real thing. Like it's holy shit, they're real. Torn from a war devil's skull. A fiend's horns. A war devil's, to be precise. Damn! Only a true Someone tore the horns off a war these devil. From live prey. A war devil's horns. You'd have to suffer a grueling battle to take these. A faint scent of blood clings to the alchemical apparatus. What grim purpose did it once serve? Infernal Marvel. Silver key. Not oh. everyone subscribes to what is my devil's fee. Where the fuck are we? 
find the Diabolus Telsic. Hello. Oh, that's Helsic. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. Oh no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. Did you help Lord Gortash retrieve some hellish curios by any chance? You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. I happened upon some of his correspondence that mentioned you dealing with him. We were levels, lovers, it was all steamy. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon. I knew it. I did. Persuasion. It's customary for any salesperson to offer a free sample. 4, 8, 12, 16. Plus friends. Can't fail unless we roll two ones. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock. Latchkeeper of the nine hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. Where in the hells did the portal go? Raphael told me that the crown of Carsis was stolen from Mephistophilus. Were you involved with that? Raphael. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I have a terrible memory for names. Oh, sure the only you thing do. that jogs it is coin. Pay one gold. Oh, come now. Don't be miserly. Pay one hundred gold. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. <laughs> yes, you are quite correct. The Crown of Carsus left the vault, and an opportunity opened for a devil named Raphael. His House of Hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Let's poke around the rat's nest. Maybe set it on fire on the way out. Can you help me break into the house of hope? Well, that was interesting, but I'd like to see your wares. Uh, can you help me break in? What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course. But fascinating, nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. 20,000? No such thanks. a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. Persuasion. Wave the fiat and add one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. Or intimidation. You'll have that price. Or no. Persuasion. Are you. Good thing we get 12. A 9 and a 2. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. 
You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Deal, let's do this. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone. Four items received. Grimoire bound in imp skin. Infernal transposition ritual. Layer Avernus. Blood circle configuration. Place that which has no eyes but used to see at the western point of the circle. Two spaces lie opposite that point upon the left. Place what is cut but cannot bleed to the right. That which smells but cannot sniff. Beside the dead remains the aspect of the Avarist. Lord sits clockwise so. Then the circle's center shall receive the internal marvel of infernal marble. Finally, and I mean no disrespect, go to hell. Legal notice, the owner of this grimoire asserts that it is for scholarly and recreational purposes only. As a mere dealer in antiquities, I dis believe in the very existence of infernal transplanter travel Helsic. Well, we have this. That's the infernal marble. Opening a hell gate. To open the portal, you must place the ritual items in the proper places on the blood star. Place the skull on the star point near the altar. Place the coin of mammon on the next point to the right. Counting clockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one. Place the incense on the point that follows the diamond. Finally, place the infernal marble in the center of the star. Okay. Could you go away so I can My do that? My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Well, potion of supreme healing. Hellbird, Hellbird. 14 to 23, plus 6 poison. That could be good for Carlac, because she still doesn't really have a great weapon. Shapeshifter hat. Increase your wild shape charge by 1. This additional charge is restored. So that's for uh, Druid. We don't even have him anymore right now. Cloak of the Weave. Plus one to spell save DC and spell attack roll. And he does absorb elements. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage. Uh, we'll grab it just because we don't have many of those. Gemini Gloves. Cantrips targeting foes and allies can target an additional creature. The same target can be chosen twice. Interesting. Seeking spell. When you make a spell attack roll, you can spend a sorcery point. I don't know what all those are. I'll grab that. I think we picked up some stuff we can sell. Nope. 
Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the devil's fee. Yes, please walk away. Just out of view. Oh, and you turn it. No? I don't understand it. Whatever. I feel like we turned it around. Should mind my step. Huh. I'll give it a shot. Management is not responsible for missing body parts, enslaved loved ones, trapped souls, or ancient world destroying curses. Aramin the Erudite, the epitome of devilish charm, wit, and grace. The Hells Unleashed, I believe we've read. Yes. That's curious. The horns of a Jeez. real war devil. But they were a pain to acquire. A fiend's horns. A war devil's Did we fail precise. eight of these? Only a true warrior Someone told the horns off a war devil. Prey. A war yeah. devil's horns. You'd have to suffer a grueling battle. This artwork is more foul than fine. It fills you with an uncanny sense of dread. No. Hmm. What's that? Why wouldn't it let me open it? Okay, it's just worth a lot. Gotcha. What's inside? Effort for a piece of window dressing. A fake devil head. Someone's Only apparently obsessed with the real collection. A death devil skull, by my reckoning. Sharp as ever. Okay, so I guess nothing really on that. Alright, so we have the step. around ten minutes. Uh, let's get back to Here we go. the uh, the devil's feet. Oh, can we get back here? I want to get back to the graveyard, or oh, you know. Huh. Guess not. We went down there, we were going over here, that's right.
city is going to Yes, up here. It was hard back for 10 days. We've had supply issues. You got a problem. Take it up with nine fingers. She loves it when you fuck her. She just Locked door has red what? text on it reading All are waited, all are embraced. None shall escape. The reddish symbol is vile and repellent, but you're not. Door with the red script remains locked. It may open only to a oh, password. A password? We got the tombstone shop key. Hmm. Huh. with the red script remains locked. Okay. I guess that was just to get in here. Oh well. Guess we need a password. Um. Okay, so again, we want to avoid here for right now. And we want to avoid here because I feel like this is going to be a huge battle and also this and this is just we need Gale so we'll go back here and we'll go down here because we still have go to old Garlo's place help the hag survivors um, the stone lord which I'm guessing is a big battle um, so what we'll do is go up this way um, murder targets, the blushing mermaid save Varna, murder targets, chase down the serial killer, murder targets, um, and that's that one, and then we have the steel watch foundry, okay, so we're pointing somewhere. What do we need of over here, I think? To the right. Sounded funny. I need to grab Gale before we do that. Oh, another merchant. Fits the firecracker. Carla Cliffgate? That can't possibly be you, can it? <gasps> Fits! If you want a sight for sore eyes. Where the hell have you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter, and that was what? Ten years ago? <laughs> Neverwinter? <laughs> Who told you that? Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ha! <laughs> that prick, but... <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you! The years have been good to you! I won't lie. They have. Let them catch up uninterrupted. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first, you saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Karlak, we have a little one on the way. Fitz! That's incredible! Congratulations! Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. 
But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Ew, no. <laughs> Just mates. Very good mates. Ew. Oh, that's lovely. It's a pleasure to meet you. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. Got these infernal diamonds. Don't tell her we stole them. Um, let's see. Purple doctrine. These things are just really good. Um, I'm tempted to buy all of them. Flail of ages. Elemental age. Hmm. The dead shots. Improved critical. The number you need to roll the critical. Reduced by one, the wielder doubles their proficiency bonus when rolling ranged attacks with this weapon on a save disadvantage. Be good for Lyzel. We'll add four of those. Great to have you back, Karlach. Cool. My God, is that fit? Hope that wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step: save the city. Then save myself. And last but not least, dinner with an old friend. What more could you ask for? Additional damage equal to your strength. Oh, yeah. I feel like this one could be better, though. We'll see. Never a dull moment. Another merchant. Gloomy Fentenson. I have something to ask. You in need of protection, friend. What am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. Let me take a look at what you have. Armor of agility, it's medium. Add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not impose disadvantage on stealth. Damn it, what sucks is I think Will can only wear light. Uh, this isn't even armor, is it? Yeah, he can wear light and that's it. Carlette can wear medium, but she has the adamantine stuff. Um, and I think Shadow Heart as well. But this is 3,000, god damn. Anyway, we can always come back. City's got a dangerous air to it these days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we can always come back. Anyway, guys. Um, what? Is this the one? Yeah, that's Korra. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna end it here. Um, when we come back, we'll do some more stuff anyway. <laughs> no, uh, when we come back, 
We're gonna try to knock out all these little things over here. We're gonna go to... Let's see... I don't know if we're gonna go here first. I think what I want to do is these murder targets. Um... Yeah, and that one right there. We're not going up there. And then we can go down here to help the hag survivors. Um, then go down here for the stone lord. Then go to save the watch foundry. And once all of that is done, uh, we'll grab Gale, come back down here, do this. Grab Asterion, come up here, do this. So... Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day and I'll see you. Bye.